Kevin was at my wedding because I needed a miniature black man on my cake, so thank you for that. Please welcome one of the most successful rappers of 2001, Ludacris! When we were looking for a roast master, we called Jamie Foxx, uh, Chris Rock, and they both couldn't do it. Um, then I had a great idea. Let's call Kevin Hart and see if he has Dave Chappelle's number. <laughs> no, I have huge... He didn't have it. He didn't have it. Kevin, you were awesome tonight. I have huge respect for Kevin Hart. Kevin loves seeing himself on the big screen. And for him, that's an iPad mini. <laughs> Sorry. Kevin is so short, he calls Lil Wayne, Wayne. <laughs> uh, I love Kevin Hart's career plan. Do everything Martin Lawrence did, only shittier. <laughs> It's no secret that Justin wants to be black. Can we all agree on that? Justin loves the black culture. Everybody knows that. My thing is this, Justin, I just want you to come to terms with the fact that you're not gangster. That's Justin's main problem, man. You're not a gangster. Accept that. All right. I mean, come on, Orlando Bloom took a swing at you. That's not gangster, Justin. <laughs> it's not. He's got a perfume called Girlfriend. That's not gangster, Justin. <laughs> You threw eggs at a house. Gangsters don't throw fucking eggs. Snoop, when the last time you threw eggs at somebody's goddamn house? We don't do that. It's not gangster. Justin, Justin sang the N-word on a video in a song that was about killing black people. That's pretty goddamn gangster, Justin. I'm gonna give you that. That's the gangsters you get right there. He actually got in a lot of trouble when he got caught saying the N-word on video. That right there, that should make you feel stupid. Reason why I say that, because you know who didn't get caught, Justin? The billion other white people that say the N-word every goddamn day. I'm talking about you, Martha. I know you say it. <laughs> Thankfully, Justin avoided the usual, uh, I, I guess you could say, former childhood mistakes. You know, he hasn't had a sex tape. That's good for you. Um, he hasn't killed anyone. You haven't bought a monkey. Oh shit, you did. You bought a monkey. <laughs> and you abandoned the monkey in Germany. What the f was that? Like, you abandoned a monkey in Germany. That was a privileged Beverly Hills monkey. You showed them your lifestyle, and then, then you dropped them off in Germany? <laughs> now that monkey's turned out in the goddamn German zoo sucking rhino dick because of your bad decision. Thank you, Kevin Hart. It's really great to be here. Oh, there you are. Sitting and listening to you yell your jokes over the last hour is the hardest time I've ever done. <laughs> As we all know, Kevin is one of the biggest movie stars in the business right now, and he deserves it. He struggled for years. When he finally got his first big paycheck, he spent $150,000 on a watch. I forget that term uh, for that. It's not African-American rich. It'll come to me. <laughs> Justin, you know the word. For all the black people that are confused about that old white woman on the couch, that's Martha Stewart. Yeah, right there. That's Martha Stewart right there. Martha, do me a favor and uh, put your ankle bracelet on vibrate so we don't have no problems <laughs> doing this show. Kevin, you look like someone put 50 cent in the dryer. <laughs> there is a lot of star power up here. These men combined have made millions in child support payments. <laughs> Kevin, you are everywhere. You know, Kevin's actually gonna be on the next season of Game of Thrones. He's playing Peter Dinklage's shadow. <laughs> Kevin does all of his own stunts. He climbs into his own chair. He climbs out of his own bathtub. He goes up on his wife. You guys may have seen her on Reno 911 as a whore on drugs. If you didn't see that, you may have seen her neighbors as a whore on drugs. Um, everybody, I want you to pull out some Purell 
for Natasha Legero. Real shit, nephew. You look real good. I didn't know the Muppets made motherfucking clothes for a nigga, though. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, look, Kevin's from Philadelphia, right? Just like Bill Cosby. And just like Bill Cosby, women can't tell when Kevin's inside of them. <laughs> My man Snoop Dogg is here. There he is. Yeah. Wait, wait. Let me clear something up for all the young people here tonight. Uh, Snoop, Snoop Dogg is a rapper. Uh, yeah, that's my aunt's favorite rapper. You know, Snoop used to call himself the D-O-double-G. That's right, the dog. Right, Snoop? Back in the day, the reason why he called himself the dog is because he was a dog with the ladies. It's true. Now he's called the dog because he sleeps all day in the sun spot in the living room floor. Isn't that true? That's true, Snoop. Thank you, Webster. Kevin is the only celebrity with a star on the yellow brick road. Shut take that dumbass look off your face. You look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my question, Shaq. How did you even end up on the roast? That's what I want to know. They must have called up the NBA pregame show and said, you know what? Send us the third funniest guy. <laughs> Wait, he's unavailable? Send us Shaq. Let us get Shaq then. <laughs> Congrats on all your success, Kevin. I'm sure it's gonna last forever. Uh, it's amazing to have Kevin Hart and Shaq here. Is this a roast or is this Tyler Perry's of Mice and Men? Uh, I love Hannibal, I really do. We know why he's here, okay? Cause he's not happy just destroying my childhood hero. <laughs> That's not, that didn't make him feel good enough. No, no, no. He's here to destroy my daughter's childhood hero as well. I just recently got married. That's something to celebrate. And Kevin was at my wedding because I needed a miniature black man on my cake, so thank you for that. The semi-famous rapper. I'm talking about Ludacris. His first album was called Incognito, and his new album, Ludaverse, is hopefully his last. You may not recognize him from the Fast and Furious movies because when he's on screen, even the white people start talking. <laughs> Please welcome one of the most successful rappers of 2001, Ludacris! <laughs> 